everyone, I'm back with another tutorial today and I'm working in CS, uh, Photoshop CS3. Um, it's the same for, I'm working on a Mac, but it'll be the same for Windows, you just use Control instead of Command or Apple. Now, I'm going to be making a banner that goes from this picture to this picture to this to this and with a really soft fuzzy edge in between. So there will be no harsh edge. Okay. So I've just created a new file, 900 by 200 pixels, which is a good size for a banner. You can make it whatever you, you'd like. So normally most people would go copy and paste, and the shortcut is Apple Command, sorry, Command A, Command C, and Command V. But I'm just going to undo that and show you another way. Make sure the arrow is selected, and all you do is you click on the picture and you drag it is super super quick so now those photos are on different different layers okay so I'm just going to work on the first one first to show you internal for the others so you go control T to transform hold down shift that constrains the proportions because you don't want it warping anything and then double click to get off it and then make sure you've got the next layer selected and do exactly the same thing Control, sorry, Control or Command T, Shift, and drag. All right. Once you've got it looking how you'd like, um. You can create the, the masks. You need to create a mask to get that effect. So I'm just going to turn off those layers and work on the first one. And to do that, you click on this icon down the bottom and um, that creates a mask. Now, when you're working on the mask, you have to make sure it's selected because you can either select the, the picture or the mask. And it works on black and white principle where black is transparent and white is not. So anything that's black will be transparent. Now, since the gradient is going from that way to that way, we want the transparent edge to be on this side. So all we do is we'll work back the other way. So you just drag across and you know if you look at the mask you can see black. Black means there's nothing there, there's no picture. White is fully opaque. Okay, so um I just and with these gradients you can do it as many times as you want and the beauty of it is you don't need to undo because it just overwrites the previous one. So if you want a straight line, you click shift. Now I'm just going to go a little bit inside the, the border of the picture and then just drag across like that. It's very bit harsh so you know you just you just keep doing it until you get it how you like it. Alright so I just do it this do exactly the same thing for all the other layers that and now because I've done it already once on this layer if I do it again it will over to this side it will overwrite that side so what I need to do is I might have to just select the area that I want, want to be working in with the um, the rectangular selection tool so once I've done that I just do the same thing go back the other way and hold down shift okay so then I go to the next one and command D for David to deselect. Make the mask and uh, do the gradient thing again. Then select the other side. Oops, sorry, see I wasn't working on the mask layer, mask bit. Okay. Command D and the last one. Make sure that's selected and the gradient selected. Okay, so I'm just going to um, just rearrange it a bit, move that over a bit. There we go. So as you can see, it's been very, very quick and very easy. Um, and, you know, it's taken not very long and it gives it a really nice cool effect. So 
Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and learned something new and I will see you very shortly. Okay, bye.